Hey guys, welcome to a very important video. Today we are going to be doing a ton of voting. We need to decide certain things. For example, new kits, new signings. Do we bring back Erdegaard? Now there's going to be a chance for everyone to vote for certain things and there is also going to be votes going on in the club discord, the official MGH United discord, which of course many of you are now part of and I appreciate you all. It's uh, it's amazing to have you all in there. If you want to join, there is a link down below to Twitch and Patreon. Subscribe on Twitch or pledge on Patreon and you are in the discord as simple as that. So there's going to be, let me double check, I've listed it down. So we've got two votes going on in Discord and three votes going on for everyone, which will be, I think I'm going to have to do them all over on Twitter. Otherwise it just gets, it gets a bit confusing. So if you need to make a Twitter account, please do and make sure you follow me, MGH. I'd really appreciate that. It's just at MGH. It's a verified account. You can't get it wrong, but let's take a look at the brand new kits. The first one being the home shirts. So we have three home shirts. They've all got the usual white and blue stripes because, of course, it's Real Sociedad. We've got option one looking a bit more retro with the, um, I, I believe they called them the Total 90 kits or something like that. It's got the, the shield lines going down the side. I, I really like it, but that is option one. You've got option two, which is similar, but with a bit more white. And then you've got option three, which I guess you could say is a bit more of a typical shirt for Real Sociedad nowadays. And I think it looks amazing. All three look amazing. So that is the first vote. That will be the link in the description at the top, I guess. We'll do each vote in a row. Make sure you cast your vote. One, two, or three. And that is what kit we'll be using next season as the home shirt. The winner of that vote. Now, when it comes to the away kit, I really wasn't sure what color to go with. I really didn't like the gray, not gray, greeny kind of turquoisey, bluey green type away kit that we had this season. It's definitely not my favorite. So I've gone with my favorite color, yellow. Now I know that might not be your favorite color, but I think it looks really good in game. And all three designs that you can see on screen right now look really great. I think they're, they're very close. These three shirts are similar in certain ways. But again, just pick your favorite. This one is going to be in the Discord. So make sure you get into the MGH United Discord. Again, just subscribe on Twitch or pledge on Patreon and you are in. And um, all you have to do is just vote in the correct channel. You'll see it if you're in the Discord. It's going to be one, two or three. I've got to say, I think I like number three the most. Same with the first vote. I think number three looks the best as well. But of course, it is down to you guys. Now it's time for the, I guess, more exciting voting. And that is, of course, signings. Everyone likes signings in career mode. It's what it's all about. So this first vote is for everyone. And it is for the centre-back position. I want to move Llorente out of the first team and bring in a new centre-back to partner Pau Torres. We have Ruben Diaz with a face mod. Looks really good. That is one of the best face mods I've seen. It looks so good. Then we've got um, Demiral from Juventus. I still don't have a Juventus mod. I really should install one. He's also got a face mod. I mean, it looks like him. It's not the best mod, but it's it's still very, very good. And then we have Mukiele. So you can see uh, Demiral and Mukiele are 79 rated. Diaz is already 83. So he is arguably the better option here. But of course, he will be more expensive. But this is down to you guys. Which centre-back would you like to see partnering Pau Torres? And then we have the difficult decision of Erdegaard coming back or not. Do we take him back? Do we buy him? Do we loan him? I don't know. But the vote will be, do you want to see him back at Real Sociedad? It might be I get him on a two-year loan. It might be that I buy him outright. I don't know. I'm not going to put that to a vote, how I get him back. But just let me know, would you like me to have him back in the team for season two and maybe season three as well. If we don't get Erdegaard, we do have some other choices and that will be put through the Discord. There'll be another vote going on there. So again, just make sure you get in the Discord. Not only do you get to take part in votes and stuff, there's lots of behind the scenes stuff. I play games with people. I will be doing some open lobby soon and it supports me financially as well. I'm going to be upfront with you guys, you know, subscribing on Twitch or pledging on Patreon really helps me out during these crazy times. And if you can spare a couple of quid, then I'd really appreciate it. Now, the next vote is going to be a club council vote in the Discord. McKenny, 
Gonsalves, Sanset, or Sanse, maybe, or Dela Cruz. We need another central midfielder because we've we've sold a couple of the, the players that we wanted to get rid of for season two. And I see an opening. And these are the players that will come in if we do not bring in Erdegaard. We have Pedri from Barcelona. We've got Shabozlai from Red Bull Salzburg. There is plenty of face mods out there for these guys. I'm pretty sure we could get one made if not. And then we've got Tete from Shakhtar Donetsk as well. So three really good options if Erdegaard is not voted in. Let's just do a quick rundown of all of the votes. There's going to be a load of links down below. So the home kit, the blue and white striped kit, is voted by everyone. That is the top link. Then we've got in Discord the away kit, the three choices there. Then we have the center back, which will be the second link, and that will be voted by everyone. And then we have the third link, which is... Erdegaard, yes or no, and that is also for everyone. And then we have the other signing, you know, the, the DM, the centre mid on Discord. And of course, my Patreon and my Twitch are there as well. And by the way, look, you really don't have to um, pledge on Patreon or subscribe on Twitch. I just really appreciate if you would at least follow me on Twitch and check out one of my streams at some point. I play a lot of Ultimate Team at the moment. We're playing lots of other games like Warzone, you know, Call of Duty, lots of other games. So I'd really appreciate it if you would check it out. Maybe after this video, you'll come out uh, to my Twitch channel. Just give it a follow and uh, I will be streaming tonight. Now, what I have done is I released some players. We've also got uh, a few players up for sale. Like um, we have put up, where is he? Monreal. He's up for sale. El Ostondo. Sanyan I might loan out. This is, of course, how many players I can have. We've currently got 25 players in the team, and that's how many I will be starting the uh, the competition. You know, the first competitive game will be with 25 players in the team. So, uh, yeah, you can see we definitely need another central midfielder. I would like to get rid of Guevara here. Guevara, maybe. Um, sell Will and Jose. I don't know. There's going to be so many changes to the squad to get us going for Season 2, and I cannot wait to find out who's in our Champions League team. So the next season will begin tomorrow. Really excited about that. Please do make sure you vote on all of the polls going on right now. And if you're joining the Discord, I will see you on there later tonight. And also, I will see you in the stream.